So it has another quick video about Virtual DJ 2025 and a new feature that was added to the latest release, which is built 8528 at the time of this recording, and that feature is Reset Gain Unload. It was actually also in build 8502, but it worked a little bit different and I think it's not been kind of fixed. So let's go with the latest release, like I said. So that's build 8528. And that's the latest public release at this time. And like I said, it's reset gain and load. That's a new feature. So let's look at it. Uh, and to look at it, I've actually looked back in time to version today 2024, so we can see the changes. So back, he back here, it was actually just part of reset EQ unload. So now it's enabled, the gain would also reset. There's a couple of other settings we'll just also do for this video. Like it would set auto gain for now, is that to know? But more importantly, maybe is gain slider included in auto gain? Is we need to set that to no, because that's the thing that sets it to 12 o'clock after it's done its auto things for visually, uh, to be, uh, visually uh, not be uh, disturbed by auto gain. So we need to set that to no. If that's set to yes, it'll mess this up and we won't understand what we're seeing. So it can be enabled afterwards, but for right now, we'll set that to no. Also zero to be, that should set, be set to default, so it doesn't change anything because that can also mess up the gain uh, visually, right? Again, it'll work fine with it, so we can enable it afterwards. For, for the test, we'll set that to default, which is do nothing, right? Cool. Um, so like I said, it's now part of reset EQ on load, on load because we've gone back to virtual DJ 2024 before the feature was added. So how did that work? Well, if you had a track loaded and you changed the, anything on the games or anything on one of the EQs and you loaded a new track, everything was reset, right? So gain was part of the EQ knobs in the reset on load. Now, if we enable auto gain, set that to auto, and we do the same thing again, load a track. We can just move it a little bit around first. Oh, it's already loaded. Reset, but you can see it's a little tiny bit off. And that's because the auto gain is applied afterwards. So after we load and, uh, re and the reset has been done, it does the auto gain here. It'll be more uh, easy to see if with this track, because if we look at this track in the tag editor, we can see it's a little bit low in gain. But if we look at this track in the tag editor, we can see it's way low in gain. So if I load that, it'll be very easy to see that it's applied a lot of auto gain to this. So uh, it does the reset. Oh, sorry. It does the reset and then it does the auto gain adjust. That was how it used to work when auto gain, uh, no, sorry, when reset unload also had the gain knob in it. So that's where you did 24. So let's move on to where you did 25 and see how it works now. And we probably have to wait a little second for it to close down before we start the new one. So here is Virtual GD 2025 that you can see right here. So if we look at reset now, you can see we have reset gain on load. That's currently set to no. Um, but if we set that to yes, which is the default by the way, and that's pretty pretty important, I think, because it can mess up a little bit if it's not on compared to auto gain uh, no, in conjunction. So let's not do. So we just set it to yes, and then it should basically work by before, right? Uh, so if we set it to yes, and we uh, just keep that down here, and we change the the gains, and load a new track, then it of course that's the, these, and of course does this, right? And if we um, set these and disable reset gain unload. And load a new track. Then it doesn't change the gain. But that's a little bit weird, right? Because we still have auto gain on. 
don't we? Let's look at auto gain. That's set to auto. So let's take the extreme track instead. Load that one. This one. Just change so we can see something happening. This one. The gain is not being set, even though we have auto gain on. It's not setting it because reset gain on load is not enabled. So that's very different from the, from the previous version. So uh, for, to, for auto gain to work, we also need to have reset gain and load. That's kind of the gatekeeper for auto gain to, to work now. So let's set that back to yes, which is like I said, is the default. We can do this. And then try loading this extreme track and then the auto gain works. So that's a little something you should probably be wary of. So like I said, the chains really and the surfaces that we now have a new reset gain uh, on load instead of it being part of the reset EQ on load. But the real kicker is that it actually also is what is a bit of a gatekeeper for auto gain. So you can see uh, it kind of also says that if you uh, hover about it here, reset gain and apply auto gain when enabled when you load a new song. And then something about if used with hardware. But it also says it has to. It only applies to auto gain now if this is enabled. So that's why it's important that it's on, and that's why it's probably a good thing that it's on by default. Uh, you can see the other ones are not on by default, all of them. So all these are not. When you click this, you get the default back. But this is on by default, and I think that's because it also controls if auto gain is going to do anything at all. So that was just a new feature, reset gain on load, uh, in the latest version of version GTA 25. And especially, I think, the auto gain thing uh, co uh, combined with the reset gain on load is something that uh, people need to know about uh, so they don't disable this and assume that auto gain still works because auto gain used to still work when it was part of reset EQ and load, uh, even though you disabled reset EQ and load. So that's a, a little thing to notice.